welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create the perfect color palette for your capsule wardrobe in five easy steps. This is the third video in my series on color harmony, so when you're done watching this video, be sure to check out my color harmony playlist in the description box below. And before we get started, check out the description box below for a downloadable worksheet that you can use to follow along with this video. The worksheet includes some helpful color guides, a step-by-step -step walkthrough, and also an Instagram template that you can use to both record your color palette for future reference and share it on social media. Without further ado, let's start creating your perfect color palette. The first step to coming up with your perfect color palette is to start by understanding your natural beauty. As I've discussed in previous videos, knowing your undertone is the first step to creating a flattering color palette for your wardrobe. Your undertone will inform whether or not you should choose warmer or cooler colors for your color palette. If you're not sure about your undertone, check out this video for six easy tests that you can use to determine your undertone. It's also important to understand your natural coloring in terms of value, intensity, and contrast. I made a video about this too, so check that one out in the description box below before moving on to step two. Step two is to shop your closet. Now that you've started to understand how to describe your natural coloring, take a look in your closet and pull out one to five items in colors that you really enjoy wearing. For this step, try to choose colors that aren't neutrals. So avoid black, white, and beige. Now that you've chosen one to five colors that you really like, how do they compare to your undertone? Try on each item and really evaluate whether or not they flatter your skin tone. And remember, your undertone doesn't prevent you from wearing any individual colors. It just informs the version of that color that will look best on you. For example, if you have a warm undertone, this doesn't mean that you can't wear green, blue, or purple. It just means that you'll be better off choosing warmer versions of those colors, such as a lime green, a teal blue, or a red violet. Now take the items of clothing which best suit you and note their colors. This is a great place to start for your capsule wardrobe color palette. And don't worry if you only found one color that you really like. The next steps will help you choose additional colors to round out your color palette. Step three is to complete your base. In this step, we want to create a complete set of base colors for your color palette. If you've chosen more than one color from the previous step, do these colors mix and match well together? If not, you may want to eliminate some of these colors from your color palette or make some adjustments. For example, one of your colors might have a clashing undertone to the rest of the colors in your color palette. If you'd like to keep that color in your palette, consider swapping it for a hue that lies within your undertone family. And if you'd like to add more colors to your base, a great place to start would be to take a color that you know you love and choose an analogous hue in your undertone family. Analogous colors are those that are close to each other on the color wheel. Adobe Color is a great free online tool that you can use to play around and find analogous color palettes if you're not sure where to start. I'll leave a link to Adobe Color in the description box below. Once you have two or three colors in your base color palette that mix and match well together, you can move on to step four. The number of colors in your base color palette is completely up to you, but I would suggest that you choose at least one non-neutral color to add to your color palette at this stage. Step number four is to choose supporting colors. Now that you have your base colors figured out, let's pick some supporting colors. Supporting colors are non-neutral colors that blend well with your base color palette and reflect your natural coloring. Here's where the concepts of value and intensity really come into play. If your natural hair is on the darker side and you have a saturated complexion, take your base colors and add pure black to them to create shades of your base colors. If you have light hair and your complexion is saturated, take pure white and add it to your base colors to create tints of your base colors. If your hair is on the darker side and you have a muted complexion, add dark gray to your base colors to create darker tones of your base colors. And finally, if you have light hair and a muted complexion, add light gray to your base colors to create lighter tones of your base colors. This will be the starting point for your set of supporting colors. If you'd like to add more variation to your color palette, you can add more or less black, gray, or white to those colors to create more variation. Feel free to pick and choose which ones you'd like to add to your color palette. I would recommend choosing at least one supporting color before moving on to the final step. And step five is to select your neutrals. I like to leave neutrals for last because I feel that, especially in the capsule wardrobe community, we tend to overbuy our neutrals at the expense of color. 
neutral colors are traditionally black, white, gray, beige, and earth tones. Now, depending on which colors you chose in the previous steps, you may already have some neutral tones in your color palette. If you'd like to add additional neutrals to your color palette, I would recommend choosing your neutrals based on your undertone, value, and contrast. For example, if you're highly contrasted with dark hair and a warm undertone, and so far your color palette is full of deeper, darker colors, you may want to add a warm white as a neutral to create more contrasted looks. On the other hand, if you have low contrast and light coloring, you may want to avoid adding stark black to your color palette as it may be a bit too harsh in comparison to the lighter, softer colors that you've chosen in the previous steps. Choose a soft gray or beige instead to reflect your natural value and contrast. And for a final bonus step, visualize your color palette. Now that your capsule wardrobe color palette is complete, use the worksheet in the description box below to record your color palette for future reference. I'd love for you to share your capsule wardrobe color palettes with me on Instagram. Just use the template in the worksheet below and tag me in your post. In addition to recording your color palette for future reference, it may also be helpful to create a Pinterest board that represents your color theme. Check out my Pinterest in the description box below to find inspiration words for every color. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you came out of it with a flattering and cohesive color palette for your capsule wardrobe. As always, please give this video a like if you truly liked it and subscribe for more capsule wardrobe and personal style videos from me every Wednesday. See you in the next one!